Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the first thing in the morning, so excuse my like crackly voice and excuse my brows on the back of the door. Um, I have my light off in my bathroom because it makes a really annoying sound. Um, so hopefully the natural lighting is working okay. So anyways, this is not a sponsored video, but I've been hearing a lot about uh, how like regular deodorants, like <laughs> y'all know I love my secret. It's, um, you know, their clear gel outlast deodorant. This is what I've been using for like 10 years. Um, they have like aluminum in them. A lot of deodorants do, even the men's ones. Uh, this is my husband's. I don't know why I'm showing you all the deodorants in the bathroom, but they have aluminum, aluminum in them, which, um, from what I've read, can build up under your armpits, um, and can lead to, you know, eventual Alzheimer's and dementia. Not that this doesn't happen to everybody as far as developing Alzheimer's and dementia, but it, um, you know, kind of contributes to that possibly happening and Alzheimer's and dementia runs in my family both of my grandmothers have developed it and it's a horrible thing to watch a family member go through like it's sad and it's horrible and it's just it's awful and I personally never want to go through it so after doing some research and looking into things I decided that I wanted to try out um, a more natural deodorant that doesn't have the aluminum in it so this one I found at my local Myers. It is called Tom's. It is supposed to be 24 hour odor protection and it's supposed to be long lasting, so 24 hours. The secret deodorant, um, I'm not sure what its claims are, but I think it's also 24 hours. It doesn't say here, but it probably said on like the packaging when it came in. I'm pretty sure it's like 24 or 48 hours, which honestly, like who really needs their deodorant to last 48 hours? I typically wash it off before then. But um, anyways, yeah, it's supposed to last for 24 hours. There's a few different scents I could choose from. I picked up the uh, natural powder. It's not a bad smell. I normally like something that's pretty much unscented. Um, the Secret, I don't think, has a scent to it or it's like a very, very mild smell. And this one's kind of the same way. It does smell more like baby powder, but it's very mild. I haven't tried it yet, so today is going to be the first day giving it a go. But I want to show you guys what it looks like right here. So just kind of like, um, it's not supposed to have any dyes in it. It says it's not tested on animals, no artificial colors, flavors, fragrances, or preservatives. Um, they share ingredients online and the purposes behind them, uh, sustainable practices. Um, everything is made out of recyclable packaging and the packaging is also recyclable, which if you've been watching me for a while, then you know, I'm pretty into recycling. So that's awesome. And also says that it gives um, 12 days a year to their employees to do um, volunteer work. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, this is what the deodorant looks like. Again, it doesn't smell too bad. It had a few different smells to pick from. It smells scents. <laughs> and um, I noticed that each scent came in like two different formulas, if you will. One is for odor protection and the other one is for wetness. So I don't know why you can't get a deodorant from Tom's that does both. Maybe my Meyer just doesn't carry that one. I don't really know. But I picked up the one that's for odor protection because I've never really had that much of a problem with the wetness. Um, unless I'm just like out in the sun sweating, which then it's going to happen regardless. So I'd rather have the odor protection. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pop the sucker on and I'll check in with, in with you in a couple of so hours. So it's like 3.42 in the afternoon. I put the deodorant, I put the deodorant on first thing in the morning at like 8 o'clock. So I've been wearing it most of the day and so far, no odor. It's doing pretty good. I just finished grooming a dog, um, in case you're new, I'm a dog groomer, I've got some clients that come to my house, so I just finished grooming a dog, um, I did sweat a little bit, which, to be expected, and it does specify that, you hear the dog and my dog out there playing, <laughs> but, um, it does specify that it's odor protectant, not wetness protectant, so, I did sweat a little bit, not a big deal to me, doesn't really bother me any, but there's no odor, and that's the good thing. That's what I'm concerned with. I don't want any odor, so pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to wear this deodorant. Well, not, you know, today's application, but I'm going to continue to put it on every day for the next week, so I'll check in with you guys next Tuesday and let you know my thoughts and opinions. Um, I don't think I told you in the beginning, but the deodorant was about four bucks, so comparable to what I buy when I buy Secret, and 
um, another thing that I've heard is that when you switch over to an all-natural deodorant, typically you'll end up developing a bit of a rash under your armpits for a few days or something um, because your armpits and your skin is like detoxifying and releasing all of the buildup of the chemicals and the aluminum in your skin. So we'll see. That's why I'm going to drag this out over the next week and I'll let you know if I end up developing any kind of a rash or not. Okay guys, it's been a couple of weeks since I bought the Tom's deodorant and started trying it out. I used it for like a week solid. I did an entire outro for this video saying that I love the product and I was all about it. Sorry again about the lighting, I know it's kind of dark in here. Um, but yeah, I did a, an entire outro saying I love the product and I was like all about it. And then like literally that same day later on like i started to notice like my armpit stink like one of them not both just one and i was like that's weird maybe i didn't code it enough i don't know so i held off on editing this video and i used the deodorant like the next couple of days and my right armpit every day started stinking so i don't know what the deal is i went an entire week with zero issues my left armpit never got a funk while using this deodorant but after a week of using it my right armpit after like half the day like started getting funky so i took a break on using it i went back to my secret deodorant used that for about a week and then i started trying this again this is day number two and like yesterday i didn't get any funk and then i didn't take a shower last night i know hashtag nasty and um woke up this morning and smelled my armpits because i'm like really expecting this to like fail me and my armpits are fine. So I don't know what's up with that. Like, I don't know if this is something where like my body grows an immunity to it. So it's like I get like a week's worth of use and then I have to switch back to my old deodorant and then I can go another week using this. Like, I don't know. So I feel like my, <laughs> my review of this product is gonna come out as being like inconclusive. I'm gonna continue to use this up just cause you know, I've already bought it and like some days it works fine. Other days are questionable. So my thoughts on it are, give it a try. I mean, technically it is supposed to be healthier for you. So if it does work for you, then you'll be better off. So like four bucks, give it a try and see. I really think that's what it comes down to is you have to try it yourself because some deodorants work for some people and they don't work for others. And that's just true for like all deodorants, you know, like not all deodorant works for everybody. So unfortunately I'm inconclusive on this. I'm undecided on it. I'm gonna continue to use it to use up you know, the whole stick, but it's going to be in conjunction with my secret deodorant. I'm going to have to be bouncing back and forth because apparently my right armpit can't handle it for more than a week. Um, but that's it for this video. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed or learned something. I will leave a link for this down below if you want to check it out. Again, you can also find it at your local Myers. It's four bucks. So yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.